yeah, if I was using this anchor, I would use this long screw more so than the smaller screw. The smaller screw would fit, okay? But you first have to go through, we first have to go through the thickness of our um, coat rack, which is gonna be, well, that's, I'm looking at it, it's about 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch, okay? So you hold this down about a quarter inch, which is may maybe about like that. This screw is only going into a plastic anchor. It's not really going to pull it out or pop, pop this apart, right? And because this screw is not any fatter, it's not going to bulge this, the sides of this out either, is it? So, but I, you know what? I would still feel confident putting that in there. It's just, we've got this coat rack. If somebody were to, if we were to fill this up with five heavy coats and some other stuff, whatever, um, chances are this is not going to fall out of the wall. It's still going, it's still going to be in there, by like that, okay. But I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use that inch and a quarter. I would use the inch and five eighths, okay, because we know it's going to break out that like that okay so that's that's one option we could use what else could we do what about the those little ones that I was showing you before okay see this is the next size down this is probably six to eight number six to eight screws this is ten to twelve this other one six to eight okay so this would this would work this would work in there and I could use those, okay? But I'm still, this is still uh, just barely gonna poke it, just barely gonna poke out of the bottom of that, okay? You allow the, the depth of our coat rack and then that, that would work, really. And here, we've got, we've got the smaller one, remember? This really super small one. This is probably four to sixes. Now this is so small that I can't even really get this in. The idea of these, when you put these plastic anchors in the wall, once you tap them in there with a hammer, obviously as you're twisting this into the plastic anchor, you don't want the plastic anchor to start spinning in the sheetrock wall. And I believe that's what would happen with this one because it's just too tight for this. Okay. And I don't want anything smaller than that anyways. The, the, um, the round bit on, on the mounting area, see how big that hole is? See how big it is? Oh, well, the screw's not that, you know, look at all the slop. But because it's got a pretty wide head, it's just going to fit right in there nicely, isn't it? See? So... Made that determination. Now, what else? What else could we have done over here? What other kind kinds of mounting anchors are there? Well, I found. Remember, I was telling you, I I really don't like this kind with the ribs going around this direction. But I could use those. I could use those and put this in there and screw it in. And if if these were the only two I had. I didn't have any of these other plastic anchors. I'd use these with this sheetrock screw. And I could, I could decide, okay, am I gonna use the inch and a quarter sheetrock screw? Or should I use the inch and five eighths? I think I would still use the inch and five eighths with this, with this anchor. I could, I could use the inch and a quarters too, but this, this one here, even though it's going into nothing in the air, the idea is it, it pops out, it breaks the, this, uh, this slit in there. You may not have ever noticed, oh, those, those break apart? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they split apart. Right now, there's a little plastic tab in there that when they make these, kind of mold it to keep it together, you push it in. Then when you put the screw in there, it breaks apart. And if the screw doesn't go all the way through there, this can bulge out the sides a little bit once you put the screw in. And that could work too. Okay. Oh, now, remember I was showing you a, a different one here. Like, what is this? You, you would put a small hole in the sheetrock, 
poke this in just to there and then you would take your Phillips screwdriver and just use that right there and go right into the wall. Now sometimes, depending, if you don't get this started a little bit and hold your mouth just right, um, one of these little plastic deals could, could snap off at first or this could break or twist. So you have to use the right size Phillips head. And if I had a little bit bigger screwdriver, I'd use a bigger, a bigger one for that. Okay, but I'm not going to use that because see how big, and that's going to be showing on your wall when you put that up. And, you know, you have to look and see what you've got because you don't want to see the mounting, the plastic anchor behind this, right? Or whatever you're going to install. If I hold that up there, I mean, you're going to see the outside edge just beyond the outside of this you're going to see white now if your wall was white fine my wall's not white i could put i could put a uh, felt tip marker on there if i wanted first before i put it up there against the wall and then if it's if it were to stick out a little bit that'll be black and you're really not going to see it so that could be an option okay if that was the only thing i had if that's the only plastic anchor I had were these, which is this, and it comes with its own little screw. See how small the screw is in relation to this plastic anchor? That's because these threads right here is what holds it into the wall, so the hole isn't really that big. Once you get it tightened up against the wall with your screwdriver and tighten it up, then you put your screw right in that same hole and, and tighten it down and depending how far this goes see there's a little slit right in there this will snap apart boom and that will create a little bit more um, catch on the inside of your sheetrock wall so i could use those and see that was called a drywall anchor these were 75 pounds worth so for a picture if you wanted to hang a picture or something you could use these and um, you can get these, uh, I think I've seen them 50 pounds or even 35 pounds. Obviously the screw head is, the screw is smaller and the head is also smaller. So if you need a, if you need a head about that size, you can't use those other ones because the head will be smaller. So you just have to, you kind of have to depend, kind of depends what you're going to use. So I think I've, I've made the, the deduction, I'm going to use these two right here. This is the medium size, and I'm going to use the inch and five eighths drywall screws. Wow. Okay, that's my that's my first decision. Now my next decision, am I going to use this level or not? Here's my level. Now, if you have a level, you can do it this way. Obviously, you've got a bubble in the middle, and then you level it either direction and for plum plum is level straight up and down there's a bubble for that too okay but we're not going to obviously we're not going to use that so in order to do that what you have to do first off is if you if you knew that these holes at the end were the same length or shorter than this level you could measure between those with your tape measure and stuff and then you can hold this up but see see where the holes are I'm at the end of the level to the right on the on the left hand side I'm about two inches shy of, of the end one because what what you could do is measure exactly where the holes are and I got my tape measure I'm measuring it it's 25 and 7 eighths so once I figured out exactly where the first hole was, so I could hold it up wherever you wanted it, for example. Okay, you want it here, here. Now if you've got a wife or a significant other, you better check with them first. On the height, they can open up the door, stand back. Okay, you want it here, this close to the wall, or the corner, up here, down here. Where do you want it? Okay? And then once you figure it out, you can take a scratch off. Say, okay, yeah, right there. Take your scratch off and just poke a hole right in there. 
then you would have a starter hole. You'd have a starter hole right there. Okay? 